underneath this dress we're going to do a double sewn chemise. A double sewn chemise is a chemise, uh, net chemise which is just going to have lining attached. I have two, cut two identical pieces and uh, basically what we're going to do is just stitch fairly close, very very close to the edge of this uh, around the neck and around the armhole. So this is uh, the neck area and I placed the neck on top and the lining underneath and uh, sort of very close to the edge I'm just going to stitch it. What that's going to do is just, I'm going to turn it over and all the unselvaged edges are just going to get hidden away on the inside so it will stop the need for like adding neck facing or turning <coughs> around the shoulder area. A similar scene uh, all around the armholes as well and on the back as well. So similar technique, same method all the way. When you've done them all, if there's any excess notch into it prior to turning over and then just press the garments. Uh, there's only one other thing that I'm going to just point out uh, the lining this is the lining so what we're going to do is we're going to do pre-turning on that so do the same to both the pieces, turn the hems on both of the lining and attach a seam on all the shoulder area and the neck area. This is the other side of the sleeve. Just make sure that it's evened out. Now the reason why we obviously lining the neck is because it's quite thin. These holes in them. and also it's got a slight bit of um, it's also got this slight bit of um, um, like a roughness and uh, I don't really want that rubbing against the skin that's a bit difficult to see on that side so what I'm going to do is turn it over that way and we're going to just just so that we get a smooth sitting just notch it in a few places be careful when you notch that you don't cut into the fabric and if you think you're very close or you've cut in make sure to double seam it. So once we've done that we're just gonna turn that and then we're just gonna give it a press. So I'm gonna do the back as well and then just get press this down so that it's sitting nicely I just seam it along to where I want the splits to and then just turn like an ordinary gummies and uh, well whilst we're on it what we'll do is we'll do the And actually do this uh, invisibly. So we're just gonna attach on the shoulder single. all in one so we're going to sandwich this in together just place this on the edge start from the bottom of the armhole 
And as we go up, we're going to go, make sure that you don't stitch over the side of the arm. Just seam over the shoulder area up to the edge of where the neck starts. And we just pivot that around. The neck is a little bit further down, but that's nothing to worry about. Just going to tip into this. You can trim it down, it is easier for you. Prior to stitching, trim it down. So I can just guide along it. Stop on top of the shoulder, pivot the fabric around. And we're going to finish on the opposite side under arm hold. So, this is quite uh, deep, so we're going to put into this. seams on the inside hidden away we've got a nice neat finishing and uh, the only thing we've got to do is on the back of this we've got to do a turning as well and then we're just going to take it press it and do the side seams on uh, the bottom hem and the side turnings and uh, she will be finished <laughs> 